What is up, YouTube? This is going to be one hell of a set you witness here. This was part of an exhibition event I did. I collaborated with this incredible person, Bookworm, uh, at BookwormFGC if you want to check him out on Twitter and check him out on Twitch. Incredible dude. Hit me up, and he wanted to sponsor some sets, some action for the community, for the NRS scene. You know, we got together. We got this all set up. I hit up Caboose, and we just set this awesome exhibition match here. There was $100 on the line for these players. We had Honeybee versus Too Easy. And we had another set, which was Biohazard versus Samage. I'm going to split them up into two different videos so you guys are just basking in the glory of this hype action and all and this crazy first attempt mayhem that went down. Again, huge shout outs to Bookworm for making this possible. Huge shout outs to Caboose for joining me in comms. And as always, if you enjoyed this Mortal Kombat 11 action, do me a huge favor. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and enjoy this insane first attempt set. And I can still join the King of the Hill when you select the PlayStation 4 version of the game. I think that's dope. Um, but yeah, let's do this. We got yeah, Honeybee. That's, that's really easy, cool. Too easy. Rock, the, the Night King over there with that Sub Zero. Yeah, you know, I was telling you earlier, man. Uh, too easy. He's been on a tear with his Sub Zero. 100%. Oh, you know what? This is this is crazy because I actually saw Honeybee talking about this on Twitter. He said he's like, I might mess around and start main and Melina alongside Devora. And I was like, hold up. I'm really intrigued to see this. I think this is dope. Seeing yeah. somebody playing one of the DLC characters for this first to 10. I mean, we'll see if he sticks with the uh, Melina pick for the entire first to 10. But right now he's starting things off. So here we go. Game Number one. All right, well, these guys need to slow down. I don't, even, I don't have anything ready. Oh, wow. wow no, I'm getting nervous now. Where's the scoreboard? You have no claim right, on we the got the scoreboard. Way. Oh, shit. Your clan swore we got DJ Spanky Doodle. Well, Spanky Doodle, he's, on, he's, 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 he's actually on vacation right now. He'll <laughs> 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 be back soon. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, nice. Back. There's a command grab. <laughs> Uh oh, four or two. Wait, was that a bag? Was that a little? Was that a little micro tea bag? Who's bagging? I'm not Too watching easy? right now. Who's bagging? Wait a second. Too easy might be might be bagging early on, getting in Honeybee's head. Wow. Okay, nice. Has the corner advantage. Goes with a four or two into the creeping ice. The top edge jump in. Honeybee not gonna find anything though. Goes for the ball roll. No punish. Honeybee now gets a punish off of that raw ice ball. This is getting kind of crazy here. Here we go, creeping ice, and that is the strongest thing ever from this new Sub Zero variation. Being able to equip creeping ice on with any ability is just beyond me. You know, he can make the 50 50 safe as hell now, and you just gotta be, you gotta have very specific punishes for that creeping ice. As we just yeah. saw there, he abused Honeybee with it right there. Wow. So like one of the things you can do, I know one of the options or one of the few options I've seen from Creeping Ice is first of all, you can block the amplified version or flawless block the amplified version. And I believe I've seen instances where you can almost like short hop the amplification. Yeah, yeah. But I know the timing on that is not easy. No, 100%. Pun intended. I mean, like, like we're looking at a high level player such as Honeybee, you know, and he just got right. caught with Creeping Ice at least three times in a row. And he probably tried to, he probably tried to hit him with a punish in one of those, and it just did not work out. But here we nice go. Command grab. Yeah, with the corner switch, another command mm. grab. Back to back command grab. Honeybee really feeling himself here. Look at his pressure. You know, Mary oh, Luna corner. might be going through. Another crazy. one. <laughs> oh. Big block, gonna go for the crush, 32% there. Very nice. Has the full screen, gotta be really careful to try and close this out. Nice flawless block there from Too Easy. Too Easy has the ability to finish this oh right God. here, right now, if you wanted to. You gotta be so careful! Oh, oh the slide, they interrupt the interactable. Oh, he went for the slide. Too Easy, what are you thinking? He's got balls of steel going for that one right there. Against a player like Honeybee, you gotta be careful with these YOLO slides. Very good blocks on the ice balls. Whoa, the downward yeah, is my air. Too easy was ready for that jump in. He said, this is my airspace. He went puta. Whoa, whoa, oh, too easy. Relax. <laughs> oh, anti-air ball roll? Hold on a minute. Oh, what a flawless block up the down one there. How, how is it? Was that a down one? I, he flawless like a down one. I think too easy is kind of nuts if we're going to be honest here. Yeah, he's out of his mind. 
Maybe we should get off. I don't think we should run the whole set. All right, I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa! He got another flawless oh, one. No meter to capitalize on that. He got to pull every 50-50 flawlessly here. Oh, the amplified ice ball. Okay, Honeybee now has nothing to worry about from a mid projectile. He Whoa. went for the ball with the punish. Wait a minute. The jump in three. Oh my this God. is going down to the wire first what game. Is what is going on here? What oh, a oh my What? No punish. He went for... What Whoa. is happening? Whoa. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't even think we can commentate that. What was that? What was that? <laughs> Bro, first of all, is Honeybee using the uh, the different ball roll, the one that like hits yes. in the air? Like, yeah, you, yeah. you're seeing that, right? It's yep. kind of freaking weird. I'm telling you, I, I don't think Too Easy's used to that shit. Yeah, so it is It is weirder. I know it gets you more hits, which obviously can set up for that crushing blow. The back 114, I believe it is, a little easier. Um, but also, you know, one thing I've noticed about that ball row in specific is there is some uh, some bugs or some issues with the amplification of it. You know, there's, there's something where sometimes the amplification just doesn't reach and you don't get that, uh, that extra hit to pop them up. I don't know what the distance is or how that works or what the problem is there, but hopefully... Hopefully there's something uh, that'll get fixed soon. Or yeah. maybe it's intentional. Maybe they're like, listen, this character's too powerful. <laughs> there's gotta be some whipping bugs here in order to balance it. But no, you know, it, if there are issues, it'd be uh, kind of weird that they haven't fixed it just yet. Cause you saw how quick they patched that uh, hydro boot from range. Right. They patched it pretty damn fast. Right, yeah. Thank you to get the sub step. Really appreciate it. All right, the command grabs galore right now from Honeybee. He's just having his way with too easy here. Oh! Nice back two into the ice ball. How's that convert? He was literally on the ground already. Oh, not a trade you want to be going for against Sub Zero here. Too easy was looking for the American reset. There it was. Very good back and forth plays for both these two players. He goes for that nuggy ball roll. Dude, is. that is Street Fighter Blanco right there. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> All she needs is, is, is electricity effects. Honeybee. Oh my god. Work away. He got the command grab. That is so... That's a, that's a really good move. I'm going to have to apply that to my Molina. What are you currently using? Um... I don't even remember what I got for her right now. I'd have to take a look. I know I don't have the, uh, like, oh, I have the low projectile. I know that. Unless, is that, is that in her base moveset? I can't even remember. I'm lost. I don't know, but Honeybee is like, he's trying to make some crazy reads with that ball row there. He's doing it from such a far distance, and it is just getting him killed from what I'm seeing. Nice, creeping nice. Oh, look again, oh, he does it great. from like half three. Oh, beautiful. The back two anti airs, and he gets a full combo off of it to end the round. We're all tied up. Very good stuff. Oh, gonna go in with the blood frames right at the start. He's got Honeybee locked down in the corner here. Dude, that creeping ice is just so damn strong. Nice. Draw ball roll. They get a combo into the command grab, switching sides. Whoa. Okay, true grab there at the end of that 1-1 one, one string. Oh, man. Nice. Oh, if Honeybee went for another command grab there, that would have been a crushing blow. Oh, the requirement is catching the, uh, the, the rollout, huh? I believe so. Wow, that just whiffed. That was very unfortunate for Too Easy. But it, he kind of knew it was going to be an issue there because he just let the string go at that moment. And oh, my God. Risky. Super risky. Yo, what? These guys are just hanging each other. What? Oh, drop the combo. This could be dangerous. This could be really dangerous for Honeybee right now. Oh, the wow. end here. Take a step back. What's it going to be? Chip damage. Oh, Wait. there's no defensive meter, Honeybee. No, no, no. He had. Absolute he had. He had. Left. He had defensive. He got, he, got it right, he got it right after the game ended. Are you kidding? He, he didn't have it there on the ball roll, so he got chipped out. Are you yep. <laughs> Honeybee right now going up game number two, leaving too easy in the dust.
in this first to ten hundred dollar match provided by the infamous, the one and only You don't bookworm FGC. <laughs> I got carried away. You don't I got carried away. Impress me. Yeah, there there are actually some channel point rewards that some people are gonna be really happy about. I don't know oh if you God. know about it, um Caboose. How you can actually what? set up like like a, a little sound cue on 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 Twitch. What? You don't know about it? I gotta teach you after this. I gotta teach you after You do? I gotta teach you after the stream, bro. You do impress me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright, going into game number three here. Honeybee. This guy is taking quite the lead here. Yo, he's throwing everything at this dude. Too easy, he's had enough. He's at Melina. Wow. Melina. Yo, this, this different uh, ball roll is kind of interesting, man. I like this is gonna be like my new favorite thing watching any of the competitors, <laughs> like the kind of people play MK Ultimate, is just seeing the tech that they've come up with now that they've made their custom variations. Yeah, uh, you know, I was actually talking to Mr. Aquaman the other day. I was telling him how, you know, personally, I felt when they came out with custom variations, everybody was just gonna go for the broke shit, you know. But that mm -hmm. doesn't seem to be the case at all. Everybody's like piecing together their own unique variations, and it's just we're seeing a lot of play styles. We're seeing a lot of play styles. Oh, for sure. He goes for the down poke. Yo, the anti-air of a lifetime gonna convert for massive damage. Oh my Too easy. god. Too easy, making sure Honeybee just stays out of his airspace. Oh, drops the combo there. That would have been a crushing blow. Missed an opportunity. Still taking a lot of hits in this corner. His Honeybee needs to get out. One, two, four, went for the low. Honeybee trying to find an opportunity to get the hell out of there. The magic pixel now, and that will be it. The trade on the creeping ice. It looks like Too easy has got a game on the board. Yes, sir, man. This man. Every time I watch Too Easy play with Sub Zero, I, I just want to pick up this character, especially with his the, the best skin in the game. I don't care what anybody says. I understand they Whoa. released the new the Whoa. new classic MK skins. Whoa. This is the best skin in the game, and nah, I don't even made this character. I was just about to point it out. I don't even made this. Just about to point it out. Nah, Destroyer. <laughs> Those those classic movie skins, the, the yeah, Christopher yeah. Lambert one for Raiden is up there. It's up there. That's what the Johnny Cage skin too, man. The, the guy who does the voice it's in nice. space there, it's he's nice. So good. It's nice. So, and and you know what's the best part about it? You know what's the best part about that skin pack? What? They got an actual voice actor for Sonya. Yeah, that's crazy. They should have got the actual Night King for this costume. I'm not gonna lie. That would have that would have took this to the next level. All right, you might have a couple points there. I might have to reevaluate my decisions. Nah, but uh, but yeah, the, dude, the Christopher Lambert one for for Raiden, that is so cool, dude. I just wanted that. I want every intro to just be like him going. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They should, they should have added that one special for him. That would have been so funny. <laughs> Bro, the Jarek laugh triggers as we're laughing. This is too funny. There's a crush there off of the command grab on the wake up roll. Very nice. He's going to catch with the overhead, the unsafe overhead. Holding up that crushing blow. I don't think we've seen Slide KB yet come out of this sub zero. No. Man, that command grab has landed successfully every single time Honeybee has gone for it. Oh, wake up! He needs one conversion! Oh, oh no punish! No, no punish on the, on the ice ball! What's happening? Oh no, a little jab to the face will do it. What just happened, bro? I wish I could tell you. This man could have caught a nice conversion into a fatal blow and called it right there, stealing the round. Easy. Bro, look what you did. You mentioned your channel points, and now people are acting up. Yo, it's wild. <laughs> it's wild. But I put it 1,500, so you know, if you spam it, you're gonna waste all your points. So that's you. Right. You watch a lot of this shit. I'm always saving for the Dragon Vex Mook transformation. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I don't know how these players are able to make that read on that command grab off of the poke. The poke dash up, too easy just being very mobile, you know, he's not letting Honeybee 
get away with murder here as he hangs himself. Oh. A lot of missed punishes here on both sides. Not sure what's going on. I mean, it's a first to 10, so we got to give these players a second to get into it. Yeah, but honestly, if too easy is able to tie things up here, man, that's going to be troublesome for both these players. And also, you got to remember, uh, Honeybee is playing with a very early on DLC character here, you know. We don't know what's going to happen if he decides to make the switch to, uh, you know, one of his possible stronger characters. Mm -hmm. Sub-Zero wins. Ah! Good win there from Too Easy. Tying things up now. We might be in it for the long haul on this first to 10 destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was telling you, I, I was like, you know, Caboose, this could either be a very long event yeah. or a super short event, you. depending on how the competition <laughs> goes. Oh, Honeybee going right to Devora. <laughs> I don't want to say I called it out, but you know. Hundred dollars on the line. Boy yeah. Boy is sitting on the throne right now. He said, "Yes, bring it out." No, he said, "He said." <laughs> He's fucking Jarek. <laughs> yeah. Bookworm, yo, you Bookworm. didn't know that. Bookworm, we need confirmation right now in the chat. Wait, Are Bookworm you Jarek? Didn't, Bookworm didn't tell you. I mean, I don't know if I want to proceed with these matches now. Hold on, wait till he tells you what's happening in MK12. Jarek's the new uh, tournament organizer. <laughs> People are gonna get killed in production, that's all I can say. You might get thrown off a cliff while you're running brackets. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what's gonna happen. You don't arrest me. All right, really good stuff. All right, I don't know about you, chat, and Caboose, but I personally think Custom Devora is kind of crazy. Custom Devora is kind of freaking crazy. You think she's busted? I don't know, because, like, I don't lab the character, so I don't know what the hell to do against her, but, like, just fighting her from a blind perspective, she's fucking busted as hell, dude. So much pressure, especially if... If she's using that that move that causes the, the little bugs on the ground, which I don't know. All right. I don't the ones the ones where they rise up, like they rise from the ground. Is that yeah, what you're like looks like a little nest, like a little egg sack, and then they start Oh, oh, oh the trap, the trap. The yeah, trap. yeah, yeah. Oh man. One thing that's always consistent with Devora, custom variation or not, is that jump in and its range. Nice. Oh, for the jump back. Okay, good stuff there. Too easy. Gonna switch sides now with the amplified slide. Oh, went for a raw slide there, and that was a punish. Okay. Yeah, too easy is up in the guts right now, just putting the pressure of the century. Oh my down God, that's down. down. Honeybee. Yeah, Honeybee. You know that's one thing about this player. You gotta salute him when he's like in a sticky situation. This man will do whatever it takes to get out of there. That's right. Oh, the reset that... with the bugs attached, and that's the game. Honeybee, I love that stuff. We saw a little bit of that in Champions of the Realms, I remember. That's the tech. She's just disgusting, bro. Like, like, get this. I don't, I don't want to. If Honeybee's going to play Devora, you're going to have to get somebody else to comment. All I'm saying is look at that, that facial reaction from Devora. <laughs> that's how she feels about what you're saying to her right now. <laughs> she said, you serious right now, motherfucker? <laughs> she said, you really talking that shit to me? You really talking that shit to me, Caboose? Oh, my God. Caboose is going to be sleeping, and a, a fucking Dorora is going to crawl out of his vents. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. <laughs> so Dorora is going to crawl out of your freaking the AC vent. You're going to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. Somebody was asking if what Honeybee did there at the end of the game was an input error or a setup, and I believe that that is the setup. He goes for, I think his timing on trying to figure out when he needs to go for the grab is doing that down one so that he can give himself the idea on how many seconds he has to jump in and see the opponent fall out of that little uh, web trap, whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah, She's it's, disgusting. It's She's some... gross or is disgusting. Moving on, next match here, Honeybee up 3-2 in this first to 10. 
but going back to that that uh, setup he does, it even fooled me. I remember one time I was commentating with you, and I was like, yo, this guy's dropping these combos. And you're like, no, you idiot. He's, he's doing that purposely. I was like, oh, Stupid bitch. Like, oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> oh, my God, look at this corner carry here. 27%. He's got him a lockdown in the corner, creeping ice all over the place, and another Ooh. down two! What if he does not care? He will this down two hurt. you if he has to! You don't impress me. Resend 41%. Oh, wait a second. Down two anti airs there for too easy. And he does have the fatal blow. Goes for the grab. Escape fail. He's got it. He's got the bugs. Is he gonna spend it? Oh, yes, yeah. indeed. Guarantee yourself the round. Nicely you done there from Honeybee. Yeah, you know, everybody would have been questioning him if he didn't spend that crushing blow right there. That yeah. was for the round. He had to he had to do it. Yep. Good conversion. He's gonna get a nice how much damage are we looking at here? 34%? What, what the these guys playing custom? The fuck? They got augments on or something? He's hitting hard as hell. Yo, I saw your video with that Rambo augment. What the hell was that shit? That is the Tower to Time cakewalk right there. Bro, oh my god. You gotta teach me how to do that so I can get through Rambo's friggin' character towers in like two seconds. Oh, I got you, bro. I'm gonna teach you the back. Oh, oh no! The brutality oh, splitting oh my. open! Oh. Sub Zero! What a tragedy! Oh my god, and then he sits him down like a toddler. Dude, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. That's my favorite she, part about this retirement. The way she she, she, she put it, she put him in the timeout corner. Put him in the timeout corner. <laughs> All Sub Zero's missing right there in that position is the freaking bib, the bib and the uh, <laughs> and the pacifier. That's right. She did a she did a would be basality on him. <laughs> Wait, am I keeping track on the score? What is? I think Honeybee's going up four two. Four two, right? four yeah, two yeah, yeah. right oh, now right. for Honeybee. That's right. Oh, I gotta make sure I don't want to mess this up for you guys. Is that Bookworm? Now that I found out he's Jared, this guy won't hesitate in killing me. <laughs> That's right. And then after he kills you, he's gonna go. <laughs> now, nah, actually, here, hold on. He's gonna he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill you, and then he's gonna do this. <laughs> Yo, it's actually crazy how you can set that up on Twitch. When Mary's the one who taught me this. And this was literally like, this was like, like fucking discovering a new planet type shit for me, you know? It was like NASA discoveries for me when I found this. I, you gotta show me what I gotta do for that. Oh, I, I definitely, I definitely want to set up a channel point goal that so you don't impress me. 100%. He gets to jump in three. What's it gonna be? Oh, yo, did you? I don't know if they fixed this yet. Chat, you gotta let us know if they fixed this. But I know the DLC characters, their jump in kick properties on the block are actually the same as pre patch properties. So, uh, right. They're, yeah, their jump kicks are fucking plus, bro. They're not, yeah, they're, and, and they're not like OS anymore. No. Yeah. Well, some characters do have it. Like, Rain still has an OS jump kick uh, with his, um, with his like around the world kick. Rambo doesn't. I can hit you on block and do whatever I want. Special. It's kind of no. busted. No, no, no. Trust me. Try it out. Try it out with Rain. It's an OS. All right. I'll, I'll try it out. I'm driving. Round two. Fight. I love how nobody in the chat let, let me know. You know what? I'm lost. I'm not <laughs> Oh, nicely done there from Too Easy. Recognizing that the last of that string is a high. We couldn't follow up with the slide. That's a really tough to land combo, though. Nice instant air there from Too Easy. Gets the damage. Gonna be, again, stuck in this corner. Finding a way out, though. Looking for the neutral jump into the grab. Really good stuff. Honestly, oh, amplifies what, for the recent. Yeah, that was sick. This is honestly what you need going into a first attempt. You need to get that lead early on. If, if you yeah. secure like like a good six game lead early, you know it'll be it, it's so much more soothing for your mind going into this. Oh, he's gonna get the throw. This is Sub Zero. He can rob you really close. in a heartbeat. Another, oh, another throw. What's it gonna be? Honey Bee, gotta get out of this. Wow. And that'll be the round. Good stuff there from Too Easy. 
that's kind of what you got to do in that in that situation you're down around and you're starting to get in a position where you can potentially steal around from your opponent you just got to play fearless you know yeah you really do and i feel like sub-zero he is the perfect character to like flip that switch you know he can yeah. go from super defensive to just an absolute yolo mania i guess we're witnessing here it's too easy just release his hell in this corner thought he had the punish there but unfortunately did not and now honeybee gonna get a good amount of damage presumably into a resend yep gonna get the counter throw what are you gonna do oh my god these players just have no fear you, you know like the way too easy just runs up in your face blocks for a split second and continues his pressure i don't know how oh he does it if i try to do that i get wake up buttons in a heart in, in, in a second Ooh, I like what Honeybee did there. He did that same setup that he did a couple of games ago, but instead went for a mid, trying to call out too easy, maybe going for a neutral duck, expecting a grab. Oh my god, what's going on here? He's just going for these ice balls. That's gonna connect. Got caught by the one, two, yeah, four. Too easy he has a really good life lead. Oh yo, my slide. god. Yo, he's nuts. He's, he's nuts. absolutely insane. He's nuts. Oh, oh, by my the way, man. too easy. Well, he's probably not looking at the chat. I gotta find out what his team name is, because I got, like, OD right now. I know that's, like, his clan. I think he's in a team. Let me find out. Let me try, you want me to try and find this out for you? I'll find out. I'll find out. Simplicity? Is that what simplicity? It is? That's it. That's what's in this bio. What's their abbreviation? Um, that's a good question. Is, this, uh, is it simp? <laughs> 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 All right. I think that's it. Maybe GGS? I don't know. No, we'll just put Sim. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's it, though. No, that's definitely not it. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Yeah, it's weird. You, oh my God, you actually put it. <laughs> I'm literally on their on their website. I don't I don't know what it is. I don't think they have an abbreviation for this thing. You don't impress me. Anyway. Let me see if, if, if simplicity fits then that that works. Oh Jay Bucket's got it in the chat. It's uh it's the Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> This man really got me excited. I looked at the chat, I was like, oh. <laughs> it's down one there. Oh, get caught by the jump in counter from Honeybee. Get the trap a low. Breakaway there from Too Easy. He wants to try and close out this round. No, that was probably an input error. He was maybe looking for the back two into the ice ball, but unfortunately, he missed it. Yeah, I don't know why I'm stressing out. I'm trying to find out what the hell his, his uh, team name is, but I definitely got to ask him afterwards because simplicity does not look right at all. Oh my god, what a crazy crushing blow just sending him flying. It's just going to go for the dive. Wait. Oh, into interactable. Okay. Honey be on a flawless round right now. I wonder why he went for the interactable. I wonder because he could have just went for his optimal combo, you know? He had no breakaway. But hey, whatever works. Dude, we know what Sub Zero is capable of in these type of situations. Forty percent right off the bat. He needs one more touch. Caboose, one more touch. That jump one, nice. Oh no. Close block. Oh no. Oh, the forward two and the fatal block. The tried and true. When in doubt. When in doubt. What do you do? When in doubt, what do you do? Forward two, fatal block. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. That's disgusting. I'm disgusted. Yeah, man. I'm gonna need some aspirins after that one. I got a stomach ache. Oh, he goes straight in for the forward four. And, and, you know, that's the fear of this Sub Zero, man. He's got the low slide to kind of just intimidate you, you know? He's kind of free to do whatever the hell he wants. If, if Sub Zero yeah. wants to throw out that forward four, <laughs> he's throwing it out. And you're holding it. What the hell? What are we playing, MKX? He just woke up slide! Dude. That's another thing that I've heard with this latest patch that's become, I mean, I don't know specifically with the slide that it applies there, but what I've heard that's become really powerful with the latest update is wake up buttons. Yeah, there's a huge dilemma going on around about wake up buttons right now, and 
There's actually, uh, I think Coach Steve, he, he, um, he capitalized on a video that he saw on Twitter and was kind of showing how to deal with Wake Up Bunny, how to make okay. your meaties a lot better. Um, it, there's a lot of math that goes into it. You, uh, again, man, I, I'll show you the video af after this, this tournament, but you, it's You're weird. telling me I got to solve the Pythagorean theorem when I'm hitting somebody with a meaty? Like Basically. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, it gets deep into it. Like, you got to use a move that is kind of called a, a kill frame, and then after you do the kill frame, you can implement the meaty a lot easier. It's some crazy shit, but I'm already lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, but you know what? Like, I think it's advanced mechanics like that that uh, that really intrigues me at MK11. Because when you see somebody execute those those mechanics consistently, oh, wait, who won that? Too uh, easy. It shows a level of skill. Yeah, we're all tied up at four. No, yeah, you're right about that, bro. Because like when I saw that video, I'm sitting there, I'm like, you gotta be fucking. You, you, I'm really gonna do this shit. I'm like, motherfucker, said you. Got, he's like, he, yo, he pulled a frame that he said, you basically, you gotta do minus 11, subtract the recovery frame. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, this cannot be real. And then he starts demonstrating. He's like beating out the the, the uh, wake up buttons every time. I was like, this son of a bitch, he found it. You really gotta do your he, homework. He, you, you actually he, have homework for Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I'll show you the video and then you, you can tell me what you think about it. Sounds good. As we're saying all this, Honeybee takes a very convincing round against Too Easy. Trying to go up 5 4 in this set. Yeah, dude. You know, we were saying earlier, getting that lead gets you in a comfortable four. position, but it's been pretty back and forth between both these players right now. It really has been. This could be any man's game. Any man's $100 right now, provided by the one and only Bookworm FGC. Again, thank you so much, Bookworm. I hope you're enjoying this action right now because I sure as hell am enjoying this action. These players are killing each other tonight. I mean, outside of what he's provided or what Bookworm has provided for these first to tens, like, we, I, I just want to give a big shout out to him for all the support that he provides for, for me and you. You know, he's, Yo, hell he's, been, yeah, dude. he's been really hell awesome yeah. for both of our channels and just a great member of this community. Here now, here he is. He's, he's at the helm of these two massive first to tens. Now, Honeybee going to land the trap, has the fatal blow ready. Oh, he misses the jump in. Oh my goodness, Too Easy went for a raw fatal blow, but it gets stopped oh. and the crushing blow throw will do it. What is this? What is this? This is the ultimate Honeybee battle. Taunting? Honeybee goes up 5-4 now in the set. She's so gross. She's just gross. What is this? What am I looking at? Dude, I'm, I, I always, I like this one because this pays tribute to like alien, alien type of thing. Yeah, you know? yes. That's so the only cool. reason I like it. If this was any cool. other uh, any other outro from the Wara, I'd be fucking balls deep into my bucket right now. Just puking huh? everywhere. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sub-Zero. Devora. Holy Damn, yo, but these shit. guys, I don't know if they're ready for the next first to ten that we're going to run. Because I don't know if bio we got we got bio against Samij there like Ooh. holy smokes that one's gonna be nuts I mean there's oh a, my god there's a, there's a lot of talk about Kano and custom variations busted so <laughs> broken let's see, uh, let's see what happens when we get there we still got a, we still got a lot more games to go here on this set going. Honeybee gonna get the punish there off the ice ball from too easy breakaway though. Yeah, I don't, I don't even want to see what Kano's going to be doing. But holy shit, Honeybee right now, he is just trying to take the lead here. Nice back throw. What did he just wait? He, he woke up through. Who does that? A maniac. Low into the creeping ice. Wow, the raw slide. Honeybee not letting him get away with it this time. Spending both bars a meter. Wants to get away with good damage and the side switch. 33% for two bars, not the greatest, but he is going to get a throw. Okay, another throw connects. This That's another big. thing that was nerfed from uh, from MK Ultimate is the throw damage being brought down a percentile. Yeah, honestly, man, if you, if you, want, if you want me to argue about it, I feel like it could have been brought down just a tad bit more. I think so. 12%. Yeah, 12% would have yeah. been the sweet spot, honestly. Yeah, I agree. Very good 12%, 12%, 28% on crushing. Go. 
That would have been a lot of worse. Some juice right there. Yeah. And too easy. He's in big trouble here. He's got a lot of bugs all over him. He is in a sticky situation. If Honeybee catches him with this throw. Did he switch variations or did he always have the, uh, like that would be ice clone and he just wasn't using it? I think he switched variations. I'm not too sure what he, what he was using previously, but I don't think he had the ice clone before. I know he had amplified ice, which that, isn't that two? Whoa. I don't know. Oh, blocks the fatal blow. That Dead. should be the game. Honeybee gonna go up 6-4 in the set now and do this just nasty brutality. Like, Yeah, this is sick. Oh, he went from custom to avalanche. He went to a he went to a um just a straight up variation that's been in the game. I wonder what made him think that that ice clone was gonna serve a better purpose in this matchup because you know he you never used it. Yeah, you, you never yeah. use it, but also you look at this variation of the Boris, she has that that move that can just freaking leap from the sky at any moment. Like putting that ice clone out. I feel like it does nothing for you because if Honeybee just makes that quick reaction to whatever uh, Too Easy's trying to set up there, he can just counter it with that bug dive or whatever the hell that move is called. That Batgirl-esque move. Oh, right. That, uh, that Batgirl had in Injustice Gods Among Us. Yeah. I totally forgot she had that. Remember how busted she was? Oh, she was pretty busted. She was pretty damn busted. That yeah. was 50-50s into restand into just put the controller down and go to sleep. Yeah, for real. Good jump in. Gonna tag him with the low. That was beautiful, man. The down one uh, micro backdash into the, the low. That is like the Sub-Zero specialty right there. Right. Like way there from too easy. Look at these short hops. Wow. Are Honey bee, yeah. Seriously, these staggers. Very nice. Or two. Next with the overhead straight into the creeping ice. Oh, gonna tag him with the back one. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> nice. Gets a punish or a counter. There's a second amplification on the slide. One more, and he's got that crushing goal locked and loaded. Oh, goes for a full screen amplified ice ball, and it woke and necked, and he's got the round. Oh my god. They're gonna step back. Oh, the jump in from Honeybee. It's funny because too easy. He was just walking back, trying to, like, you know, trip guard him or something, but good luck doing that to the Bora. That's all I gotta say. Nice. Catches the air to air. Oh, he went for the forward four, looking for that breakaway. Nice interruption there on the forward two from Honey Bee. Sweet. Oh, man. The back and forth right now. He goes for wow. it again. What is going through Honey Bee's mind to just do that shit? Dude. Honey Bee said, who can play at that YOLO game, buddy? I got to that's crazy. <laughs> You're just, just flabbergasted. We barely taking any chip damage on that. Luigi does have fatal blow. Went for the 4 2. It's the down one. 4 oh, 2 with the ice ball. He's, oh, he's got to go for a reset. Oh, God. The filthy schmick. The, the, oh, oh my goodness. That was, that was so scary. I would have been terrified. One more forward 2 and it would have been a wrap. That been I would have been deal. scared. Yeah, the pressure is insane right now from Too Easy and from Honeybee. One thing Too Easy needs to watch out for, he, he needs to look out for that um that bug drop. But Honeybee's killing him. He's yeah, gonna go for the crush. Right. Yes, he is a near 40%. That is in that's nuts. 40% for yeah, that ridiculous. throw. There's another yeah, throw. Another wow! Oh my goodness. This should be the game into the down two, and that'll do it. Honeybee now up 7-4 in the set. Three more games to take that $100, but Too Easy still has an opportunity to answer here. Plenty of room. This is pretty wild right now.
that was just non-stop pressure from Honeybee. I mean, too easy is really staying. At, he's staying, like, right ahead with him. But these matches are getting so close to the point where, where Hunt, Honeybee Demora. is getting too far ahead. Too easy is going to gonna have to grip it. Too easy with the switch to Cetrion. What's this did, about? Did, did Too Easy play Cetrion at all when we saw him in Champions? I don't really remember a Cetrion. I think I remember a collection. He played it like one time. Did he? Like one time I think he played it. Should be interesting. Wow. Oh, wow. Bookworm. Bookworm. Bro. Bro, oh, yeah, yeah. Is, bro. He's an absolute mad lad. Bookworm, let me kiss your toe. <laughs> Honeybee wasting no time, even on the character switch, to try and take the life lead, and he's gonna do exactly that. The restand. Oh, nice use of the interactable there from Too Easy. Has the ground pound. Yo, the color effect that she gets when she's using the skin on her special moves actually looks so sick. What is her uh, her natural color effect? Uh, it's a like green usually. Oh, nice throw there with the crushing blow. Honeybee did have quite a life lead, but still opts to spend it to guarantee himself the round. One more round away. I don't know, taking man. His eighth game. His character switch to Cetrion is not looking good. Honeybee is just continuing to be very oppressive here. Okay, hold on. I think I'm talking to too soon. Rush. Okay, never mind. Look at this. Look at this. Yo, speaking of color changes, when you play the uh, the movie skin for Raiden, he's got the white lightning too. Yo. Oh my god, it's so sick. I can't believe I can't believe you said bar none that the Night King Sub Zero is the best skin in the game. It's if Christopher so Lambert good. Raiden exists. Listen, Christopher Lambert Raid is nice, but he doesn't have his laugh out from <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't have that. If he, if he has that. Oh, wow, nice. Look at these ground pounds and all the damage that it's doing. Honeybee blocks that second one there. Oh, gets caught by the rock wall, though. That was nasty. I'm liking this adaptation right now from Too Easy. Oh, Honeybee had the ball block, but he didn't punish. Okay, very good. The rock wall. Whoa, cancel! Wow! Cancel! Okay, th that's that's an ability, right? That's something that's not that didn't used to be tournament. Right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, bro. Dude, that's some tricky stuff. I think I might have forgot nice. to turn on uh, competitive for this King of the Hill. <laughs> Wait, yeah, we got to make sure that too. So there's no. But I don't think anybody's made a band variation that they're gonna play with or anything. <laughs> Wait a second. It's too easy to make the comeback. He's going to spend he most all the resources can. here on I this one. Do this. With a character like Cetrion, bro, there is no impossible for her. This character is she's ridiculous. Watch this. What? Oh, oh my god, they're short hop. No! Oh, honeybee. He was ready. Instant down two to close things out. He takes his eighth game. Divorce. Eight games to four honey B. Two games away from that hundred dollars right now. Bro. He must be feeling real good. Oh yeah. Right now, Honeybee is in, in a spot where even if Too Easy starts to make a bit of a comeback, he has a four-game cushion to figure it out, to start making a download take place. Divorce. Like Whatever he needs to do, he has a four-game cushion for it. Okay, he's got a lot, a lot of space right now to work with here. And, you know, if, if Honeybee wanted to, he could even go back to that Molina. But, you know, that's the, he shouldn't even be thinking about that. This guy just got to worry about closing this out here and now, not even letting that be a possibility. Too easy, though. Right. Sticking with this Cetrion. Is this the choice? I feel like that Sub-Zero just needed a little bit of more tweaking and he, he could have started, you know, doing a lot more damage. I agree. Uh, I mean, we, we are seeing some interesting stuff from a Cetrion, so I don't want to discredit what the play the plays that Tweez has been making with Cetrion. Of course But not. I feel like the, the Sub-Zero is the character that I most associate Tweez with when I've seen him play competitively. So I figure that that'd be the one that he'd want to stick it with for the first, or for the whole first 10. Yeah. But hey, I'm, I'm just I'm just commentating, okay? I, I'm not nowhere near as good as any of these players. I'm just commentating. Let them make the decision. 
Yeah, and one thing, man, I gotta say, Honeybee has been crazy with the big brain reads on those uh, those little the bug drops. Because, I don't know, all too easy needs to do is make that one adjustment and block that. He needs to be ready for that. Be a, a little bit more safe, you know, in those full screen uh, positions. And I think it'll make a big difference. And every time you go through that bug drop, if it's blocked, it's gonna be a big punish. Oh no. Nice throw. Honeybee's got another round. Closing in here on a potential ninth game. Okay, really good stuff. The down to crush. Oh my god! Oh, armor breaker! I forgot that break armor, dude. Since when? Oh man, this is nuts! Just throw him into the corner. Luigi has a huge life lead here. He can definitely make this work. Yeah, Honeybee, he's keeping those bugs on him. Oh, I think he's wasting it now. Has the fatal blow. Oh, gets caught by the jump in. Yeah, he's had the fatal blow two throws ago, and he decided not to go for it. Oy. This is it. Jumping into fatal right away. Oh, he goes to the resend. He wanted the armor breaker. Too easy. Didn't break away though. And he's got the bug. He's got the Honey bug. Too much. That's it. Ninth game now for Honeybee. One more away from taking this first to ten. Honeybee's too much. He is. He really is. This Devora is. Nasty. If she hey. wasn't already gross, she's now nasty. Biohazard. Biohazard Samij, if you guys are watching this, if you could please join the Bookworm MM King of the Hill room in Mortal Kombat 11, please. Let me send him a message just in case. I was just about to do that a few, but you got it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I'm you, you me. I'm you, you me. I'm you, you me. How are you? Fuck you. Holy oh shit, you're not even speaking bro. English. Bro, speak English. English. This is too much. Man. This is too much for me. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I I'm not. Uh, 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 uh. Can you please join the bookworm MM? Bro, that literally had my brain twisting. I didn't even know how to type. Can you please join the bookworm MM room? I couldn't type. You had me paralyzed. Oh my god. That's crazy. All right, potential last game scenario here. If Honeybee's gonna be able to win this with nine game wins or nine games won. I can speak English, I promise. <laughs> All right. All right, Stallone. Nice no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jump in. Okay. Oh, nicely done there from Too Easy. This is nice. You got the corner control here. Wow, this is nuts. You know, Too Easy gonna oh. finally go back to the sub-zero wow. after being down 9-4. I don't know. I don't know if he needed to go for the four two into Fado. Maybe he could have gone for the ice ball if he was really willing to w risk it. Oh, you know he didn't have meter. That was his option. That was his option to win the round. No, yeah, that was a smart thing to do. Oh, nice. The neutral jump one. Thank you for the sub. Audio fade. This is getting wild right now. He's gonna go for the low. Is this the? Oh, that was a side switch. A juicy side switch combo from Honeybee here. Is he gonna waste Bro. our crush? No. No, sir. Oh my goodness, the rock. Wake up slide. Here's another throw. Probably gonna use it here to guarantee the run. No? Okay, never mind. Listen, I wanna say, man, both, get to jump in. both these players are kind of similar when it comes out to throwing those I don't give a fuck neutral moves out of nowhere. Yeah. But the one difference is that Honeybee is ready for it when too easy goes to these moves. Factory string connects. Oh man, Too easy a lot trying of to close this out. Oh, he's got he it. He gets the jump in. He's got it. Nicely done. Okay, wait a second. Too easy. This would be the wildest comeback in the history of first to tens. Too easy. Gets a game, sends it to a 5 9 situation. Honeybee just needs one more win to claim that $100, whereas Too easy needs five more.
Yeah, it'll seriously be something we witness here. And I honestly think he can do it. You know, he's stuck with Sub-Zero. And honestly, dude, if there's any character that's going to make a comeback in a first to ten, it's probably going to be Sub-Zero. He's got the tools for it. He's got the crazy 50-50. Uh, he's got the damage. He's got the crushing blows. And he's got the Night King. I don't see it any other way right now. Here we go. Next game underway. Just as you said, Too Easy is locked in with this Sub-Zero for the remainder of this set. Round one, fight. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Okay, really good start from Honeybee here. Oh my God, that was immediate. Is that a wake up or a flawless lie? I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. I think he was grabbing the brush and putting on a little makeup. Ice forward two into the amplified ice ball. Listen, sir, I'm gonna need you to take a chill pill. <laughs> He's in the air actable. Raw ice ball. Nice anti air. Oh, the low's gonna bluff. connect. Here we go. Oh. Got the back to Lee, but he didn't go for the ice ball. Good tech. Man, I feel like once the border gets started, it is it's really difficult to get her off of you. Oh, he's got this. The tough thing right now is even if Too Easy's got this round, every bug is now attached to him. He needs to tech a grab in order to get them off. I need to be still at that fatal blow. He gets the jump in. Oh my oh, god. Boy. Oh my god. I think he's dead. He's gonna go into a fatal blow combo. Yes, oh, he is. Oh no. I think this that is, is kill. a robbery if I've ever seen. No, no, no. He's still alive. Oh, he's still alive. Like... No. No, no. He's dead. It's, that's it. Wow, a robbery. Highway robbery. Match point now for Honeybee. He just needs a round to take the whole set. Too easy. Clearly, even though he lost the round, he got Honeybee the Magic Pixel. Too easy still has a chance here. Stallone, you're just you're spitting straight facts if we're being honest. Let's see if he can do a nice rush and blow combo. He's got oh no, he's gonna go for the low slide. Nice. Making the read on the rollout. Oh man, I mean, if there's any upside to this match here, too easy needs to look at it this way. He came off that fatal blow, you know, he doesn't have it. That's that a, is certainly the silver a, lining in the That's a shiny light right there. Oh, Back three, but Honeybee was in the air. Oh, okay, that jump in is broken! Huge. Does he have does he have crush on the slide? Wait, he no, he won't need it. it. He won't need it. He won't need it. Beautiful combo conversion there from Too Easy. And now this is perfect. You know, speaking of the sliding crush, he's has he's got that loaded. He's got the uh the oh, 214 oh, loaded. He's got a lot loaded up right now. He went for that raw slide, he's gonna get punished for it again from Honeybee. Still 25% damage to get away with breakaway or not is solid. Now another trap is set up. Gonna be gonna go again into the resend. Yes, indeed. There's that neutral jump one. Oh! He neutral touch the throw. Went for back throw. Bro, Honeybee's literally he a touch away blow. from closing this and taking the money home. God, you gotta be so careful on every toss of an ice ball. I can't watch. He's gonna go for the dive. I feel it. If he goes for that teleport. Oh my nice God, throw. throw. He still has fatal blow. Jump in. Oh, oh no. Oh, he no. must be throwing a whip. Another throw lands for too easy. Oh I'm my God. My eyes. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. Oh. oh. Was no, he commit. Oh my God, he didn't get punished for it. Oh, and that'll be it. Honeybee will take the set in a very, very tight finish. And he's going to claim that $100 of the first first to ten that we got for you guys for this stream of the two. Oh, no, look at the Night at. King. I can't watch this, bro. What are they doing to my homeboy? That's the nastiest fatality in the history of Mortal Kombat.